Introducing the principals first in the red corner to my left, wearing the white trunks, the black trim, and red accessories. He weighs in at 75.95 kgs with a professional record of 15 victories, 13 defeats, four draws, and five wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from the United Kingdom. Here is David Redford. Redford. His opponent in the blue corner wearing the white trunks, red trim. He weighs in at 77.55 kilograms with a professional record of 100 victories, 13 defeats. He has 69 wins coming by way of knockout. El hijo de la República de Panama and four-time world champion. Here is Manos de Piedra, Roberto Duran. Duran, Abel's super middleweights. As would be expected is Duran, but still they tell me pretty sharp in the gym. And ranked number six in the world by the World Boxing Council, Roberto Duran, in the super middleweight division. So Radford, probably with a record that he has that he disputes, I might add, that he says he's had more wins than what is already on there as 15 out of the uh, 32 fights. He's certainly going to have his hands full here. And it's also a great opportunity for him, of course, as a young man, uh, relatively unknown, going in the ring against a living legend. He can uh, upset Duran here in this fight. He'll certainly make a name for himself. Probably be classified, and I hope he doesn't mind me using the expression, as a journeyman boxer, it is how you would classify Radford. Yes, I think that's a fair description, Barry. Most of these fights have been fought over the six and eight round uh, limit, or rather number of rounds anyway, scheduled for those number of rounds. And for just absorbing a couple of punches there from Duran. That's what he's got to watch, the quick right that ahead, says uh, referee Hunt. <laughs> Two lefts, one to the head and one to the body from Duran. Interesting to see the style. I thought he might be upright, is what you described David Radford Burt, I think you're right, he is upright, typical British style of boxing. That's good punches though, good solid punches. It was a particularly good right hand from Radford, and uh, I was going to say it might take him a round or two to uh, get the message that even living legends can be hurt, but well, he didn't need a round or two, he's got the message already. As I said earlier, this is a great opportunity for this young man. He could make a name for himself instantly if he were to beat Duran. Listening by the accents in the corner of Radford, I would suggest that they come well up in the north of England. And uh, referee Hunt says, uh, just be a little careful. Yes, that blow certainly was on the belt line, if not below, as we come to the end of the round. Well, good to see that uh, Radford has all the right intentions. He hasn't been overawed by uh, Roberta Duran. And certainly after landing that punch, he must be greatly encouraged. Yes, you've got to think it through when you think that Radford telephone call went on Wednesday to say, are you available to fight as uh, Duran's opponent withdrew. And then they say, who am I fighting? And they say, Roberto Duran. You've got to think twice about even getting on the aircraft, I would think. Do 
uh, Radford's mental approach is going to play a big part in just how well he does here in this fight. And uh, must say, I like the way he started. Boxer move, Davey. Boxer move. It's an instruction coming from the corner. Box and move, David. And that's the way to do it. Don't stand and make yourself a, a target for Duran because he'll take cognizance of the fact which way you're going to move around the ring. If you keep going round to your left, he'll make note of that and cut it off for you. He's a very experienced, very wily character. 113 fights, 100 victories, four world titles. There's a tremendous amount of experience there. Regardless of the age, at 46, people would say he's over the hill. As long as you're fit, as long as you're aware, and as long as you're compass mentors, you don't really see that being so much of a problem. Well, Duran has already made his intentions clear. He'd like to get on the inside, work the body, obviously try and take the legs away from Radford, and then perhaps uh, go upstairs. Oh, he's going upstairs. They're still attacking the body, you notice. Some of those blows on the belt line. Referee Len Hunt will have to watch that carefully. Yeah, I think it's the way that uh, Radford defends as well, Bird. He tucks his elbows deep into his uh, solar plexus, and that's very difficult. Sometimes you do find that the punches will slide off the elbows, and they slide downwards towards the belt line and sometimes below it. Oh, a low one from Duran. Little warning. Keep, keep it up. David. Come on now. Keep it up. Len Hunt has given him probably a major warning to Duran. Points will be deducted, I'm sure, next time around. And too much of it, disqualification will happen. That will be a tragedy here for the crowd that's assembled to see this legend in action. Well, it certainly hasn't stopped Duran from attacking the body. The veteran knows that he must take the legs away from this young man, slow him down to a crawl if he can. Foul line. Yes. Duran is going to have to watch the direction of those body blows. Lunging in an attempt to reach Radford as Duran and decides to work from behind the jab. Duran, when you see him square on, he just holds the gloves chest height. Just stalking now, Bradford. But Bradford, not in awe of Duran, just does a little showboating to get the crowd on its toes. That's it, David, that's it. Well, Radford, Radford's corner have told him to. Uh, move, make good use of this ring, and that's good advice. Uh, he's a younger man, and he should move around. Serves a dual purpose. Might even tire Duran out. He's got to do a lot of movement. But at the moment, he's working on the inside, trading with Duran. Being careful to protect his body against those body shots from uh, this living legend. The longer this fight goes, the more confident Radford seems to become. Although there's some cracking combinations, one into the body and one left that slides off the face of Radford. Be careful of those. He's not, not in awe of him, and that's good to see. Radford's come to make a fight of it all. Yes, Radford needs to let his punches go. It's when he starts leaning into Duran in a defensive mode that he gets hit. Uh, he's far better off letting his punches go and making good use of the perimeter of the ring, of course. Younger legs keep him moving. Going continually clockwise around the ring. Duran just having a little bit of trouble cutting it off. shows Radford that he's probably disinterested in chasing him 
Let's watch that right when he lets it go. Ooh, he did then, but uh, Bradford quick enough to get under it. Well, Duran never was a fancy damn boxer. He, was, he is essentially a fighter, loves to brawl. And it uh, looks as though he still hits pretty hard. Well, the tactics obviously for Radford are to come and to run. When I say run, I mean just keep moving. I don't mean run away, I mean keep moving, throw the punches when you can. And don't let the ring be cut off by Duran. He's trying to be a little bit too quick with his punches rather than taking taking them in his stride. In other words, pinpointing, getting the left going and then sizing Radford up before throwing the big one. Maybe what he's got to try and do. Bradford yes. in the meantime, just keep him moving and therefore taking the distance between him and Duran to greater lengths and more difficult chances for him to try and land the punch as well. Yes, I think Duran has to give uh, Radford the opportunity to make mistakes and he surely will because he's <laughs> certainly, uh, by comparison, very much the inexperienced novice in this ring. And... Uh, he doesn't have to put the pressure on Radford that uh, one normally would. I mean, he's, uh, he's just got to wait for Radford to make a mistake and then counter. Those body shots are hurting Radford, no question about that. Good right, two good rights, in fact, from Radford. Caught Duran a little flat-footed. Yes, Duran fortunately rode the, those punches, took the sting out of them, but they were good shots from the British boxer. Radford doing rather well for a man with his lack of experience. I think most young boxers would be overawed at the prospect of getting in the ring with Roberta Duran. And to his credit, uh, Radford hasn't shown anything like that. Radford's come with a plan. The plan is just to keep moving. Throwing and moving. Then unleash one or two, if he can, without exposing himself, which is very, very good tactics indeed by this British boxer. Roberto Duran just cannot quite cut off the ring and likes to maybe get inside as he is now. Off the jump, David, off the jump. Good instructions from the Englishman's corner. Fight off the jab. That's good, that's good tactics, I think. He's proved he's got a good good right when he does connect, so maybe the left jab is what he needs to throw more of the Englishman. Meantime. Duran is trying to size him up as well, maybe get inside and be a little bit of a, more of a roughhouse rather than a boxing match. Rapid quite useful at tying Duran up when they get to close quarters. Uh, for a young man with his lack of experience, he's doing rather well close up. He uh, ties up the arms and the gloves of Duran and uh, that could prove frustrating for the uh, man from Panama. Yes, I think you're right, Bert. Right go under instruction only when he's ready to let it go, and that's very good. Good instruction, good, good corner work. That is, as you said earlier, Bert. To come here, if someone to say we're going to fight Roberto Duran, you've got to think about it, haven't you? You've got to think: is the money worth that? Well, I suspect that uh, Radford has looked at it in a positive light. He sees this as a great opportunity, and it is for a young man. And uh, what he needs to do now, of course, is pick up his work rate, not to get careless, but uh, on our card anyway, he's one point behind. And uh, if, he, if he does pick up his work rate, he, who knows, he might start winning rounds. Yes, I thought that perhaps the answer here Bert, would be that the longer the fight went, the more Radford would probably come into it. I think he's done well so far, he really has. And Duran certainly knows that He's in a fight. Oh, that one was very, very low. But uh, referee Len Hunt was unsighted, so didn't see it. I'm afraid uh, Roberto Duran, very careless with those body shots. Hands up, David. Move round the ring. Move round the ring, David. That's it. And again. Hands up. Tight hands, David. Try 
forehand, just not quick enough to cut off the ring. Good left jab. Tight hands, Davey, tight hands. Hands up, Davey. Well, all of a sudden, a Roberto Duran out jabbing the man who we expect to box from behind a left jab because he's a British boxer with the upright stance and uh, he was told to work off the left hand anyway. And he's done reasonably well, but uh, Duran proving that uh, even he can land with a good jab when he wants. Hands up. Well, Duran is certainly doing the chasing at the moment, trying to cut the ring off. Radford is making him work. The reactions are still there. It's nice to see, you see the quick jab, the quick smashing jab from Radford. And back goes the head of Duran like that. Just not able to land, just out of range. There is little wrong with Duran's reflexes. He just pulls back the head to avoid those jabs from Radford. And unfortunately, Radford's work rate has fallen away uh, spectacularly in this round in particular. He's not going to win rounds uh, doing so little, Barry. He's running, Bert. That's the thing. And I think it, the running means that he, he's not using the left jab to come in behind it with the right. And uh, that has to go Duran's way because that and move into this round number six. The Englishman is going to move and continue to move. And uh, it's going to be Roberto Duran who will be trying to bob and weave and, and cut off his opponent. Let's have a look, see how those instructions are interpreted. Round six of a scheduled eight roundup. Well, I can understand Rapid wanting to work from the outside, but he's, but he's got to work. And that means he's got to throw punches. And he threw very few in round five. Radford has made very little use of the right hand since the first couple of rounds when she looked so good throwing the right hand and I'm, I'm a bit surprised about that. Yeah, I thought the, uh, the second round he threw some very good right, rights and the, the fourth round he threw some very good rights as well Burton. I think that that was a moment he could perhaps have uh, shaded Duran with uh, off the left jab as he was instructed to and throw the right when the opportunity arises. Well, he probably thinks the opportunity hasn't arisen yet, but he certainly needs to throw it once or twice to uh, remind the judges that he's in this fight. Well, he's very much in a defensive mode at the moment, pushing out the odd left hand and uh, Duran for his part also. <laughs> well, you see the exasperation from Duran saying, well, come on, fella, this is a fight. But of course, not everybody wants to play Duran's game. Duran, obviously, here as the crowd's favourite. David Radford knows that, and all he's there trying to do at the moment is to take it through the eight rounds that it's now scheduled, this uh, fight and also to make sure that he gives a good account of himself. And I think he's done that. He's certainly given a good account of himself. There's nothing wrong with that. He's exchanged blows with Roberto Duran. He's landed one or two superb rights. There's nothing wrong with that left jab either that he's using at the moment. And he's frustrating the hell out of Roberto Duran. Yes, the hands of stone finding it difficult to land on this Englishman. Move, Round seven, schedule for eight. And on our card, Duran has certainly moved ahead on points nothing spectacular but then he's up against a man who i think is essentially in the ring now as a survivor he wants to go eight rounds and say well i did eight rounds with roberto duran yep now the tactics i believe i go along exactly what you said i think it's uh, 
right there, Bert. The crowd's getting a little restless, expecting a little bit more from this uh, encounter. The Englishman's not going to oblige, other than the fact that I'm going to stand up for eight, eight rounds. Duran is the man that they, who's going to have to put one or two punches in. And uh, referee Hunt says, just try and keep them off a bit. But I don't think that one was as low as some of them would be, funny enough. Well, some of the others, of course, uh, referee Hunt was unsighted, so he didn't see. And luckily for Duran, he got away with it. But this is a wily old veteran. He'll try anything to try and provoke uh, Radford into a brawl. Hasn't succeeded so far. Now, as the fight gets longer, the fitness of Radford will be very important because one doesn't know how much training he's been doing and certainly whether he's just been doing gym work and not preparing himself for fights a lot a lot more different than just going into the ring and into the gym and doing uh, road work every day to suddenly being told you've got to fight on whatever the date is and uh, suddenly well here he is 48 hours later in South Africa fighting against one of the greatest boxers the world has seen so that in itself is something he's done well as Radford he's jabbing well too he's jabbing and moving jabbing and moving backwards and he's really frustrating Duran, and it's only every now and again that he. Duran says to uh, referee Hunt, not my fault. Oh, a cracking right from Radford. That really was a good punch. Mm, brought a smile to the British boxer's face as well. And I'd like to see more of those right hands from uh, Radford. Uh, we saw a few earlier on, and they looked rather good. And uh, I think that Radford should be encouraged to throw even more. Duran holds that left hand very low, as you notice, and so he's actually very vulnerable to the right cross. It's been a style of his over the years, Bert, hasn't it, where he does hold that low, and uh, almost invitingly he says, come on, throw it, but when you do throw it, be careful, I've got to write his rounds off of uh, Duran. Yes, he might even have caused an upset, but I think perhaps uh, the British camp went into this fight with the notion that if he went eight rounds with Roberto Duran, well, that was achievement enough. Yes, you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't probably mind that on your record, would you? Well, you can imagine him going back to Britain and saying, I went eight rounds with Roberto Duran, and he'll probably say, I should have got the decision. They all do. But in fairness, Duran is ahead on points. This is the eighth and final round. Duran would love to get a clean shot at Radford's chin. But uh, British Box is not going to oblige. Well, Roberto has certainly been chasing and running after his opponent since round number two, I would suggest. And Duran says, come on in. Throw that right again, see what you think. Oh, good right from Duran. Just to remind the British boxer that he's also got a nice crisp punch as well. And the eye of Radford, the right eye of Radford, the cheek, has got a nice welt underneath it. And it shows that that left jab has worked. You have to admire the reflexes of Duran. How's a man 46 going for 47? Can still slip punches and compete with a man much, much younger than himself. And that says a great deal for him. So into the final minute. And Duran just needs perhaps a little flash of brilliance to prove to this crowd that he's on the way, maybe, to another big rematch that would certainly bring the boxing world alive. 
David Rep has done well. Not for being the most exciting fight you've ever seen in your life, but it's been a one of strategy. It's been one where Radford's come to last eight rounds against Roberto Duran, and Duran has been frustrated for having to chase Radford round the ring for these past 24 minutes. And I would think Rat Duran will get it on points, Bert, but Bloody. Radford has certainly achieved what he set out to do. It's a good tactical. And the winner going the way of Roberto Duran. Let's find out the details, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Al Bukwana scores it 79-74. Judge Jacques Van Heusen scores it 80-73. And Judge Gordon Goba scores it 78-75. All to the winner by unanimous decision, Roberto Duran. Duran. So there we are, unanimous decision. We had it a little bit, uh, maybe closer than that, but maybe we put a couple of even rounds in and helped them on their way. But certainly, 79-74.